Once again, when I choose to record, there's a bunch of people making a shitload of fucking noise at fucking 10 p.m. on a goddamn Saturday night, and it's all children. Put the fucking kids to bed, for Christ's sake. But anyways, what's going on, folks? Welcome again to Might Machine, where I just might talk about anything and have a good excuse to not include footage coinciding with the topic, because I'm lazy. And also where my actions can completely contradict the topic in question, which brings me to today's topic. How reviews ruin everything. The first episode was all about how trailers ruin everything. Check that out if you haven't. And although some of the points I made in that episode go hand in hand with this one, there's always more to discuss. There's always more reasons for me to become increasingly disgruntled with how the internet has shaped our culture. And the best part about that is I'm usually correct in my assessments. When it comes to the way people consume reviews these days, they fall into one or more categories, which include, but are not limited to, a person who's searching for those with like-minded opinions, a person whose intent is to become a self-proclaimed snarky movie critic douchebag, and a person who, for no good reason, gives a shit about the public's general opinion. Those categories can bleed into one another, so there goes my hopes of trying to structure this whole thing. But let's take a second and tackle each of those categories and what I feel about them. I'll probably add subcategories as I go along. All right, so people who are searching for like-minded opinions. This is a fairly harmless one, depending on how you approach it. Finding people who think the same way you do can be reassuring that you're not alone in your thoughts. It can definitely be more fun sharing things you love with people who also love them. But the fact of the matter is, a majority of people who are searching for this stuff on the internet are looking for some sort of validation in their opinion, whether that be in the review itself, or they'll find themselves scrolling through a comment section desperately trying to find the one person saying, fuck this guy, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I find it incredibly self-destructive. Why should you give a single fuck whether or not someone enjoyed something as much as you did? It doesn't take two people to enjoy something. Have you tried masturbation? I don't care if the entire world thinks you're an idiot with poor taste. You own that fucking taste. Why should you waste your effort searching for something you're never going to truly find no matter how many people agree with you? There's also the people, like I sort of briefly mentioned before, who deliberately search for people who disagree with them. So why contribute to that? Why get in a 100-page novel back-and-forth comment war where neither side's opinion will be swayed? The only result is anger and frustration. And people seem to forget that getting into those comment wars and allowing those combative opinions to get into their mind space is like the equivalent of welcoming someone who thinks you're a total fucking moron into your home. Why the fuck would you want this person in your house? House. Why the hell should you give a single second of your time to an argument that isn't going to lead to anything constructive? So you can maybe gain some empty satisfaction when they finally submit to you by giving up or changing their perspective to better match yours? There is literally zero to gain in most cases. And although it may seem that I'm trying to do the same thing with your perspective in this little rant, I'm just stating my opinion. Do with it what you will. I'll try and make the rest of this brief because I once again feel like a constant contradiction. Look at me. I'm doing the same shit. I'm spewing nonsense, spending a good chunk of my time writing the script, stating my case as if a single person in the world should or could give a shit. So now let's talk about the ones who care about the public's general opinion when looking at reviews, or maybe just the opinion of content creators with a million plus followers. I've sat idly by and watched these appropriately named followers increase by the masses and follow so hard to the point that their helpless leaves in the wind. They can't help but go where it blows, while also blowing the people fanning it into the air. Did you hear? So-and-so gave this movie a 10 out of 10! Did you hear? The Rotten Tomato score for Insert Movie Here is at a 30%! Dude, that fucking movie bombed so hard, it must suck! Who fucking gives a shit? It's of such little importance. Really, that's what this whole video should have been, is reviews are stupid, form your own opinions, who gives a shit about anyone else's, the end. I just don't see the point of all this shit. I can't stand how much the general public gives a shit about useless opinions and information. This shit isn't technically reviews, but I see people who make it a point to talk about how well a movie is doing at the box office, or shit being nominated for awards. Did you hear? Red Dead 2 made like a fucking billion dollars in its first 40 hours or some shit. Who fucking cares, man? Unless you took part in making the game or movie and more sales equals more money for you, why should you give the slightest fuck how it's received or how how much money it's made. 
The only way I see this information being used is once again for validation. Bringing it up in arguments with friends. Oh, my favorite movie made the most money, or my favorite game got a 10 out of 10. As if that fucking matters. For Christ's sake, people. Oh, I love peanut butter and banana sandwiches, but the general consensus is that peanut butter and jelly is the best. Maybe I've been doing it all wrong. I feel bad that this video is more of a rant than me just sticking to good arguments as to why reviews are a waste of time. But the fact of the matter is, it's just the way people consume them. You can go into a review not interested in something, or you heard about it through the grapevine and are searching for at least one opinion of it to sell it to you. And that's totally fine. <laughs> so reviews are good, guys. They haven't ruined shit. <laughs> <laughs> but one last thing before I forget, and for some this may have been the most important topic, or at least the category of people they are most sick of, and that's the self-proclaimed movie critics that apparently know everything about what makes a good film and will relentlessly spill novels of their fucking opinions into YouTube comment sections. Reviews have spawned the snarky douchebag demons lying dormant in these people's souls into existence. People watch a popular YouTube reviewer who's smart and can speak articulately, or articulately, whatever you fucking say it, and all of a sudden, BAM! All the fun has been stripped away from the way they experience movies, as they now watch with a fucking clipboard and non-prescription glasses leaning on the bridge of their noses. Now that's just lazy writing. I don't like the way they handled this character. The plot just doesn't flow excitingly, like an autumn breeze that's just cold enough to provoke a slight tingle from my bare skin. I honestly wish more people obsessed with having so much to say about the structure of a movie or video game used more exciting descriptions like that. But instead, it's just pretentious bullshit. But here's the skinny. Trying to increasingly objectify something that is inherently subjective, like whether or not a movie is good, is once again a waste of time. And while I'm sure there's somebody out there with the argument of, well, I want to learn how to make good movies or games or just how to structure a good story or how to articulate my words in my own reviews, so learning through reviews is a good option. Well, yes and no. Yes, learning things about the entertainment medium of your choosing before tackling it yourself is obviously beneficial, but there comes a point where it's not entirely necessary. People these days love to overcomplicate things instead of embracing the easy to swallow reality that sticking to the basics is not only enough, but sometimes better than trying to overdo it. Once you have a basic knowledge of how something works, you can work wonders with it. But anyway, the title of this video should probably just be Reviews Can Be Really Stupid, depending on how you watch them, but that's way too long of a fucking... Uh, title. Because as you've seen in my whole little spiel here, there is some positives to come from looking at them. But the fact of the matter is, their usefulness dwindles fairly quickly. So maybe keep that in mind before you let them consume your time. And as far as why I make them, it's because they're fun. And sometimes I just can't hold my tongue when it comes to my opinions, because like everyone else at times, I think they're gospel. But again, it's important to always keep in mind that I and them are stupid. If you like this, leave a like, comment, and perhaps subscribe, and I just might make some more.